Hi, I just wanted to talk to you about the Ronin and what's the little difficulty, a little, little discrepancy on using a G7X or a light camera compared to the regular camera that I believe it was made for. As you can see, this is the uh, 60D, uh, one of my other cameras. Well, I only have two, but this one, as you can see, it's bigger. And it's not only bigger, it weighs a lot, it weighs not a lot more, but it weighs more. The reason I, I cannot use this one right now on this is because I don't like the battery just lasting 20, 25 minutes. So I bought an external drive, but that's it, that's just a story you're going on. So I wanted to use this and I do plan on using this, but I just wanted to tell you the little problem. So the Ronin, this is me facing you. And you have to balance this to wherever it's at, to the front and back, so it could balance the uh, the Ronin. Then you gotta balance it sideways, uh, up and down. No, you gotta side the side one. As you can see, the side one, I cannot. This is right now. The Ronin is built right now for this weight. As you can see, it's hitting it, and that's a little problem because when it's heavier. So it could be balanced, this is going to be moving this way. So the more it weighs, it's going to go this way, meaning it could rotate now. Okay? So with this camera, it hits it because the weight is way, is way less that it's going to keep on hitting it. With that being said, What's the little problem on that area is that you can still record, you can still record moving it up and down, sideways, sideways, but when you try to curve it or try to catch a, uh, or try to record, uh, you know how they, some people flip it on the bottom and record, you can't because it's going to be hitting it and it's going to keep on hitting it because the motor or whatever, it's computer or whatever it's having it, it's basically saying move that way. And the only way it won't move again, because I'll show you the recording, I I did curse, that's why I'm gonna put it on mute on that part. And you can see where I'm hitting it. And I started like, you don't wanna keep on going that way because it's gonna keep on hitting. So you try to move it back until it balances so it won't hit it no more. So with that being said, there's only two things that you, that you could fix it on your own it's either A, add more weight to the camera. I don't know how you're gonna do that. Or, or B, eliminate some of the balance. Uh, eliminate the balance and move it, basically almost touching it so it could still rotate. But you already know it's not gonna be balanced. So now it will be able to cat. It will be able to move. Now, what's the problem with uh, not having a balance? If you try to move something uh, very quick and it doesn't have the, the proper balance, it's going to immediately, it might lose the e equilibrium or the, uh, the balancing and it's going to just probably shift the camera very quick. But at least you're not damaging the, the, the Ronin, hitting it with the Ronin itself. The camera will not get hit because it's basically up here. So anywhere it hits is never going to get hit. Okay? And that's all I wanted to say because the Ronin is built for heavier cameras. Just in case you, you bought a G7X and wondering if you want to buy it. I still recommend it. Like I said, all you got to do is probably unbalance it. Or you can leave it the same but you cannot do the, the bottom. But sometimes you want to do something and your instinct is telling you to do something. And you might try to do it or you might do something that it might hit itself but i just wanted to bring that up because that's a mistake that i did so hopefully you guys understand that i'll show you the video after this it's just going to be very quick a little short span that i did uh, all right have a good day okay thank you